This morning, I'd like to demonstrate how to replace a spring in case the spring snap. Uh, we do use the best possible material, and this is our spring, heavy gauge and stainless steel. Uh, however, uh, things do happen, and uh, rarely, but, uh, okay, uh, but uh, in occasion it does happen. So it's necessary to uh, show how to, how to uh, replace so that, you, so that you wouldn't have to send the bucket back. It would be self maintenance flip the bucket over and all you need is two simple tools a pair of pliers and preferably the pointy head ones and the phillips head screwdriver okay so first take the screw the phillips head screwdriver and uh, remove the four screws that's at the bottom of the bucket Now, preferably you want to flip this over again and at this point you should be able to lift this off and then if it doesn't come up immediately you can wiggle this a little bit and uh, it'll come off okay now be careful take note of this this uh, pin that drives through the rod here the the, the shaft because this is what's driving the this is what's driving the bucket spinning. Okay, this must remain there and keep it in this position. Okay, let's put it aside for now. And preferably, you want to leave everything together. In case it falls off apart, then all you have to be careful is to place this back. There are three flippers here. I might as well show the whole thing. Here are three gears. And the center gear goes right into here. And there are three flippers. There's a ring here. And this ring should be positioned like this with the, the these three positioned right outside the, the outside the flipper like that. Okay, so so it goes like that. And place this over it and cut this over. And we go a little bit so that it forms the whole unit. Just keep that intact, just like that, or you can turn it around. Now, on the spring side, there's the cracked spring. On the spring side, there, uh, there is a, a screw inside there. So you want to remove that screw. this and they're the same size the same size screw so now we have five screws there and at this point ply it open by by pulling this way or you or use a tool or something to just kind of ply it open and then these two a male and female pin male part and female female part pin would come off now, notice on the male part, there's a notch here, okay, a flat, so that you don't you don't you don't put back the wrong way. It, it's got the flat uh, notch on the side, so it'll fit uh, together. Okay, at this point, it'll lift. This comes off. The, it'll lift out up, upwards. Okay, try not to pull everything out. Just just uh, here, the spring, the spring. Uh, this spring, you want to just remove it, take it out. Okay, now you lift this off and put this new spring back in. Now, this part with the, the this this part goes in here. So, all you have to do is rest this here. Okay, put it in there like that. Rest it there and place the whole thing back together like that. Okay, and now in case, in case this falls apart, in case this came out, all you have to do is put it in like that and push it back in and this side rest go down there and don't, don't have to worry about that just yet. Okay, we'll take care of that later. Now put these back together. Now remember the male 
and the female and just just give it a push together the male pouch should be positioned like that and push together. now this is really not absolutely necessary but for the safe side we'll still this this goes into the uh, the spring end not that end, the spring end where the where the female goes now uh, you'll, you'll be able to tell from this that all you have to do is lift up the pedal as far as you can as far as it will go okay. and uh, by having that now you have to take this plier now make sure at this point don't keep your hand here or anywhere that in case it springs back you don't want to get hurt so stay clear from that and because it'll take a little force to push this back into that hole there just that, that hole and just just pinch it together goes back right in that little hole okay that's all now the, the spring is back in operation now take this flip hold on to it and position these two the the, the two um whatever uh, whatever you call them these two fit right back in here and with the gears engaged to that just go in like that, there we go, and that's it. So now we can put this pedal back in. Uh, remember, this pin forms a cross that goes right in here. See that slot? Okay, it goes into that slot. So make sure that pin's like that, then fit in. Okay, turn back. Now, all you have to do is put these four screws, screw it back up. No need to over tighten it, just um, just there. there That's it. Back in working condition.